The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. Welcome back to another edition of Zach's Rank Buy. I am Brian Bolin, and I am the aggressive growth stock strategist here at Zach's, and I'm here giving you two more stocks to put on your aggressive growth radar. So the first one, as we can see here, is Packaging Corporation of America, and PKG is the ticker. It is a Zach's Rank number one strong buy, as pretty much all of our aggressive growth stocks are. And it also has the A for growth style score. I always love to see this the growth style score come in at A or B. Value, I like to see usually a little bit lower score because I just that automatically tells me that I'm uh, in a good spot. But a B for value isn't that terrible of a thing. Uh, so let's take a look at why this is a Zach's rank number one. This is the detailed estimates page, and we can see that earnings estimates for this year have moved up dramatically over the last 90 days, going from 667 90 days ago, ticking higher, ticking higher, and then coming in just a little bit here, but 754 over the last 90 days. That's quite a big move. And the move isn't relegated to just the current year. Next year, we are seeing the same thing, a move from $7.30 to $8.56. When we take a look at the fundamental ratios here, and this is on the financial overview page, we can see the stock trades at 15 times forward earnings and has sales growth of 14% and earnings growth of 26%. So when we see something like that, that tells us right away that margins are getting better. And if we jump down here, we can see the net margin has moved up over the last you know, few months here from about 8% on the net to about 10%. That is a big move right there. And that's a, good, that's a great indication of things to come. And then if we take a look finally at the chart, we can see that things have really been working well for PKG here. Now, PKG is making boxes and cardboard and that sort of thing. And you know, with everyone shopping at Amazon and places like that and doing a lot more shipping of products, you can see that uh, the stock has really benefited. The estimates keep on moving higher, and that has pushed the stock higher as well, even though there are a few red arrows here over the last couple of years uh, with uh, negative earnings. So one of those companies that keeps on shipping things, uh, believe it or not, is, is Abercrombie and & Fitch. While you know a lot of their retail you know names have been struggling over the last few years because of the competition from Amazon, uh, ANF has been uh, really showing signs of life of late. That's why it is a Zach's rank number one strong buy. Also has that A for growth and a C for value. If we jump over to the detailed estimates page, we can see that earnings for this year have really skyrocketed here. 90 days ago, we were looking at 22 cents. And even a dip down to 19 cents, but from that time, the estimate has really skyrocketed here. Now moving to 68 cents for this year. Next year, things look even better, moving from 13 cents to 71 cents. We can see that there's been some good beats here. Three of the last four beats have been uh, very strong. You know, with the average here for the last four coming in at 25%. But, you know, there was, a, there was a meet here four quarters ago, but the last three have been very strong. If we take a look at the fundamentals here, we can still – the stock trades a little bit rich here at about 34.5 times forward earnings, 15% sales growth, but earnings have really ratcheted up here, 94%. Uh, so we can see the net margin has slipped from negative to positive. That's one thing we like to see. And then if we take a look at the chart, we can see things were bad but they have started to turn around, especially on the heel of the last uh, three good earnings results. <laughs> Pardon me. Well, that's it for this week as we uh, wrap it up here. And next week, we'll look at two more stocks to put on your aggressive growth radar.